Alcohol on the Awakening Process or Sacred Secretion. This video is in response to the request from at GlowClo6008 and several others who are interested in this subject too. Firstly, it's good to know that the word alcohol comes from the roots al, which denotes spirit, force, or something outside of us, as seen in the word Allah, and the root kul or kuhul, which denotes entity or demon, and is where we get the word ghoul from. And of course, alcohol is commonly referred to as spirit even to this day. In the up unpublished letters between Carl Jung and Sabina Spielreen, available on ResearchGate, there are not only discussions about Spielreen's flat earth theories, but she also says the analogue, so the etymology of the term alcohol is an emission of seed, i.e. soma. So she's clearly referring to the seed or cell of life in this quote and highlighting the debilitating effect that alcohol has on the body and the sacred secretion process or inner alchemy. Now sadly, Spielreen was murdered at age 57 by an SS death squad. So I will leave you to draw your own conclusions about that. Um, but her deduction of the word alcohol is directly in line with this quote from page 223 of the amazing book that I love called Spiritual Nutrition by Gabriel Cousins. It says, poor diet is a form of oxygen stress. Foods that are excessively acidic, such as meat, coffee, carbonated drinks, and alcohol create acidity in the system. This acidity is an excess of hydrogen ions, H+, in the system, which deplete oxygen by combining with it to create water. In doing this, they short circuit the system so that the full energy producing movement of electrons, life force, going to the oxygen pole is reduced. When less oxygen is available for the metabolism, our cellular environment becomes progressively acidic. And of course, acid promotes death and decay, resulting in the destruction of cellular function. In other words, alcohol has a devastating effect in the body and literally breaks or cuts the circuit of life force within so the regeneration process can't continue when a person gets extremely drunk they are said to drown their sorrows this is because alcohol temporarily detaches the soul from consciousness so you can't feel what you would usually feel Alcohol addiction, whether it be mild or severe, is brought about by the instinctive human need and thirst or longing for freedom, for contentment and for spiritual connection. In other words, the false self turns to stimulants such as alcohol as an escape from life stress inducing and spirit crushing conditions. If we take the Bible's turning of water into wine at the wedding of Cana parable literally, which we shouldn't, it appears that the Bible's Jesus was encouraging drunkenness. But since Jesus represents the I am or the spiritual body within us, our connection to source and wine represents the biochemicals of enlightenment produced by the preserving and raising of the sacred secretion which is akin to kundalini rising it's obviously not the case that the bible would promote drunkenness as it says in ephesians 5:18, and be not drunk with wine wherein 
is excess but be filled with the spirit. Esoteric teachings warn that alcohol disrupts the vibrational frequency of the body and acts as a hindrance to the smooth flow of kundalini or life force energy. The higher vibrational states, joy, gratitude, bless, peace, etc., can be impeded by the dense vibrations introduced through the consumption of alcohol. How alcohol is even legal when it's highly addictive and harmful is actually inexplicable. On a scientific level alone, alcohol is known to adversely affect vital, vital organs, including the liver and kidneys. And if you've read The Cell of Life, you'll know their function in the inner alchem alchemical process. But these organs are crucial for the filtration and purification of bodily fluids, including the subtle energies associated with the Kundalini. Specifically, the normal production and release of nitric oxide is inhibited by alcohol in the body. As you may know from previous videos, nitric oxide 777888 is a primary factor in the free flow and rising action of Kundalini energy. In fact, alcoholism interferes with nitric oxide synthase, so the enzyme that is actually responsible for creating nitric oxide in the body. And nitric oxide, again, plays a crucial role in regulating blood flow, immune response, so your lymphatic system, and even in neurotransmission, so the nervous system as well. Nitric oxide is the molecule of health, akin or related to the Kundalini energy, and alcohol interferes and impedes the production of it. On top of that, the consumption of alcohol is thought to dull consciousness and awareness and to create states of delirium, so negative hallucinations, that heighten tendencies governed by the false self. So the false, take, false self takes over and the illusions of the matrix become richer. So we're in a more dangerous place to fall for all the wiles of it than ever. So then of course, alcohol's impact on mental clarity and perception is seen as counterproductive to the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment, which has to do with our crystal clear, our Christ clear mind, and our overall spiritual vision, which is our supernatural sight. Spiritual teachings always emphasize the holistic connection between what's physical, so visible, and what's energetic, so the invisible aspects of the body. So when the manifest body is poisoned by alcohol, of course, the spirit is impeded too. You can't have one without the other. This is the chemicalization, this is the alchemy. Finally, it's worth mentioning George Carey's perspective on this subject, which some of you will be familiar with. And of course, it further validates all that we've heard in relation to the effect of alcohol on vital bodily fluids or Christ oil and the Kundalini rising. He says, envy, hatred, ambition and covetousness will destroy the capsule that contains the seed cell of life and thus corrupt the blood as surely as sexual contact. Alcohol in all its deceptive forms is the arch enemy to this life seed and seeks by every means known to destroy it. No drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of heaven because alcohol destroys the redeeming substance that enables man to understand or think in his heart the thoughts of spirit. Alcohol cuts 
the capsule that holds the Essie born every month in Bethlehem. Alcohol eats the fruit of the tree of life. Gluttony is another enemy to regeneration. All excess of food that is not burnt up in the furnace, the stomach and intestinal tract, all that is not properly digested ferments and produces acid which develops alcohol. And that is on page 91 of The Wonders of the Human Body. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this goes some way toward answering your query. As always, the links to my books, courses and other resources can be found in the description box below this video. May divine love manifest itself in you all always and in all ways from my heart to yours namaste